This is one of the harder races in the game, GR1 prototype at Daytona. One by six seconds, kind of go over uh, how I did it. I use a, a 787B, the Mazda, because it has um, doesn't have a lot of downforce, so that's going to help you get higher speeds. If you can see, I'm running hards in the front and mediums in the back. If you see this light pole, one, two, with that light pole, I break. And um, that gives me a good position right here. So as I said, I was running hards in the front and mediums in the back. And the uh, hards in the front are gonna allow me to get the proper brake distance. That shadow right there is where I break. Um, I also have a quick on this car, I have NAS and I have it turned up to uh, to the max. Most of the times when I use it on this track, I use it in second gear. I don't use it at this point. When I break here, I break right before the number two, right around here. Most of the cars go through this faster, so I use a NAS coming out in second gear. And that gets me up to speed. Um, you can actually pick up about like a couple of tenths getting real close to the yellow. So I stay around the yellow to um, pick up some more time. After that uh, yellow logo on the grass, I kind of start breaking. At that point, I hit the, um, the E brake to get the car to turn around a little bit. Right pole, one, two, brake. I have my brake bias um, turned to five in the rear. Helps me go long. I usually uh, NAS here too. Brake. That's that little uh, black mark in the road. That's my braking point. After that yellow line, I coast for a little bit, then I break. For my downforce, I'm running like no downforce in the front, probably minimum. And the downforce in the rear, I'm running about 500. So it's a little bit off of the max. You really want to be careful like coming through here because you can pick up a penalty and it's really hard to win this race if you get penalties of any kind. I'm just trying to stay on the inside and it'll pick up a lot of time over here drafting this car. Break. See that yellow uh, logo in the grass? That's my breaking point. Running cards in the front and running mediums in the back actually gives it um, equal tire wear because there's a lot of braking points and the fronts wear out quicker than the back. So my lap times on this track are around 131 to, to 132 for pretty much all the laps. And if you want to get first place, you got to be running at least 132s, 133s. And when you're going down the straight, you want to be hitting at least 220 miles an hour. I mean, if you're in a car, you're not 
getting up to like 220, you're probably not gonna have the enough pace to uh, to catch these guys. Around lap five is where I go into the pits. So going down the back straight is where I catch up to the front of the pack, which is these guys right here. It almost seems like when you catch up to them, they kind of slow down. They're like this slow, but they have such a huge um, head start. It's hard to catch them. I don't try to do anything crazy here because my car is like way fast in a straight, so I just wait till I get to a straight and then just pass them. Get to the inside to pick up some time. They're gonna be faster than you in this point, but that's why you use NAS nice when you get out. I didn't use NAS nice this time because I had cars that I could draft, so I'm just gonna use that instead. It's your first place car right here. Breakpoint, that yellow mark. At this point, see you just pulling away from them at this point. And I NOS here in second gear. Break it that dark mark. And this is pretty much the end of the race at this point. You can just see starting to gap these guys. Get around to that number two, start breaking. Make sure I don't get a penalty. I'm going into the pit, so I'm not gonna knock out of there. We don't really need the speed. Let's stay on the inside to gain a little bit of time. So what I'm doing, I'm putting on soft, so as soon as I get out the pits, I can uh, hit that corner pretty quick. This is where you really benefit from the soft tires to make this corner. This is the slowest corner, so you need as much grip as possible to help you out. Tires are still cold, so they don't really grip too well. So you don't want to spin out here and lose the whole race, so just take your time. Early shift, so that you have some grip. And draft these guys. Now the person that's in first place is gonna pit in lap nine. So, if you're familiar with this, you're gonna think, oh, I'm not gonna be able to catch anybody. 
but the first place person goes nine laps before they go in. So your first place person is actually the person that's in second place. Make sure to stay on the inside to pick up more time. Look for that yellow mark to, on the grass to break. I pull one, two, break. Wait until the car shakes out. Get on the gas. Nice so for a second. Get your speed up. Nice nice a little bit to get enough speed so that you can get far enough in your braking zone so you can get to the right point. Straighten out. Hit the gas. Yellow mark. Coast break. If you get one of these breaking points wrong, you can lose like a half a second. And if you do that probably about two or three times, you can like lose a race by like three or four seconds and that's where that time was at. They're not doing the breaking zones right. Number two, break. Hit the yellow marks. If you hit the yellow marks, you won't get a penalty, so. Now I'm in third place. Stay on the inside, pick up some time. 220 plus mile an hour. Works out well. Breaking point, great. Straighten out, full gas. I don't have traction control turned on in this race, so I have it uh, turned off. I'm thinking in these 10 laps, you can probably lose too much time with the traction control, which would be a difference between you losing by like three or four seconds. So you got traction control on and you don't have the braking zones right, you'll miss out by like eight to 10 seconds and you'll be saying to yourself, I'm doing this track perfect. So, they made this tight, they made this track really, really tight as far as like timing goes, where you have to do it almost perfect uh, to win. I'm not exactly sure how this track is on the intermediate or easy settings, but this is kind of like how you have to do this track on the hardest difficulty, so. You can see one and two are in the pits now. They went nine laps. So at this point, just do what you did the whole time. One, two, break. And you have soft tires, so your grip and everything is good. Anybody behind you? Nope. And as you can see that the front tires are worn out way earlier than the rear tires. That's the reason why I did hards in the front and mediums in the rear to start out for this reason. I think I have about a six second lead on um, everybody. So there you go. Now this is a fun track once you uh, know what you're doing, but um, it's a little rough trying to figure it out. I 
Have a great day, everybody. Peace.